YouTube fam. Welcome back to the Cutting Vlogs. And uh, today we're gonna start with a clip that I missed. Uh, I, I missed putting it in on, on the previous vlog. It was the, the dinner that I had on Wednesday night. Um, today's vlog is gonna begin on Thursday evening and the last, the last one finished on, on Thursday morning as I was uh, talking to you guys uh, while driving. So uh, I'm gonna show this clip because um, I recorded my dinner on Wednesday evening. Uh, that's gonna be this first clip and then after that we will continue with uh, Thursday night as I was preparing <laughs> to to do the old fish diet and do the the 24 hours of eating nothing but fish and to see what that would do uh, so that's where um, we're gonna begin today so uh, please give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already I hope you enjoy it I hope you guys have really uh, gotten something out of these cutting vlogs um, Reach out in any way if uh, if you guys want to get started on this and uh, you need a little bit of help, uh, if you want to talk about it. Um, you, you guys know how to get a hold of me. So anyway, enjoy the video, guys. And uh, and uh, yeah, here we go. So today is Wednesday, May 13th. And guys, man, I'm telling you, the spaghetti squash with the barbecue sauce, the sweet and, spar uh, the sweet and spicy G Hughes. Oh, man, game changer. I got some uh, the 98% lean ground turkey with a little Cholula over the top. I got some steamed uh, carrots and broccoli and a couple servings of the, uh, the ground turkey. I got a little bit of plantains, not a lot, but you can see them there, a little bit of steamed plantains. So yeah, I'm gonna, you see I've been repeating a lot of the stuff, you know. But man, I gotta tell you, this uh, spaghetti squash with the barbecue sauce, the sweet and spicy G Hughes game changer all right that's gonna be tonight and then a smoothie the smoothies have been a life saver i'm telling you life saver oh man guys here we go cod tomorrow all day long we're gonna see i'm gonna try it tonight i'm gonna make uh some of it in the pan here like i did last time with the other fish and i think i'm gonna make some in the oven and let me show you what the packaging looks like Okay, so there's the packaging. That's how, how I found it. Uh, I had to buy it uh, frozen. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, here's the macros. You see uh, 120, but that's because the serving size is six ounces instead of four ounces like it was the other day. So it, it, it's basically the same macros. Uh, this thing is like pure protein. It's got no fat. Uh, somehow it's got one gram of carb. I thought meat like never had carbs. I wasn't too sure about that. Anyway, whatever. One gram of carb, that's meaningless. And 28 protein for six ounces. Now that is so. And uh, these things are huge. This, let me show you. These fillets are huge. They're like big, big old chunks of meat. Um, so I'm gonna make a little bit in the pan like I showed you guys that kind of like the ends which is thinner and these thicker pieces here this is like a like an inch and a little bit in thickness you know I'll probably put that in the oven see how that comes out I don't know we'll see it's an experiment and having to eat this stuff all day tomorrow I don't know about that <laughs> the um, actually uh, the fish I made last time was pretty good I could see me eating that it came out pretty awesome and um, uh, this one I don't know but from the smell of it it was a little bit more fishy than the one I had the other day the one that that I had the other day had absolutely no smell when I opened it this had a little bit very little but it had a little bit so anyway let me experiment with this I'll show you guys a little bit later some other clips All right, so here you see it. I've been cooking it covered up. Whoa, okay. So it doesn't completely dry up in the pan and stuff and starts to burn and stuff. So, but I already gave it a, a taste test and uh, it's similar to the other one. Um, I actually like the other one a little bit better, the one I made the other day. And one of the things I liked about the other one is the way it comes packaged. Let me show you how what that looked. I'm not sure if I showed it. Okay, so the other one, which here's the packaging I showed it the other day, but it comes, the fillets comes uh, vacuum sealed in these plastic uh, bags and, and it's very good quality. You can tell it's not gonna leak in your fridge or anything and it's not so thick. So this you can cook in the pan, no problem, cooks quick. 
So this is just more convenient and the flavor wise I even liked it a little bit better. So I never heard of this fish. I'm, I'm scared to look and see what it looks like. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, this is a definitely I would rebuy this one for sure. The kind of would do it as well, but uh, I think I like this one better. I just didn't, uh, you know, they told me cod, so that's what I went with. I'll look for this one again next time, but uh, we're going to see full day of cod tomorrow. All right, so I got the last two pieces here. Look at these big chunks of meat, man. These things are massive. It's like, it's, right there is over an inch thick. This thing is pretty, pretty, pretty massive. I don't know. I seasoned it with just a little pepper and a little bit of the adobo. So that's all I put on it. Uh, this is the last little piece I'm going to cook in the skillet. Everything else is already cooked. Uh, so, yep, this is what I'm going to be eating tomorrow all day. <laughs> oh, man, I'm scared. Anyway, this is going to go in the oven. I don't know. I guess I'll give it like, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes and flip it another 20 minutes and see how that goes. I guess 40 minutes, I don't know man, I don't know too much about cooking fish, I don't eat too much seafood, but anyway, we're going to see. Alright guys, it's about half done, uh, it's been in there uh, for 20 minutes at 350, I think I'm going to leave it another 20 minutes for another 350. Uh, I've got some popcorn in the microwave, that's what you heard there, but uh, you know, I, I know you're supposed to like test it and it's supposed to fall apart. It's starting to. I don't think it'll need another 20 minutes. But, you know, I'm just not trying to get no food poisoning. So, I'm going to give it another 20. I'm going to flip it. Another 350. I don't know. You guys flip everything that you make in the in the oven. I don't know if you even have to do that. But I just, I don't know. I've always heard it's a good idea. I'm going to flip this thing. Another 20 minutes. Then I'm going to have, uh, today I'm going to have a little bit of popcorn. And a couple drinks while this finishes cooking. Then I'm going to eat this with some vegetables. That's it. And then tomorrow, oh man, the cod diet. Cod all day long. We'll see how that goes. All right, guys. So there it is. It's completely, completely done now. You see it's falling apart. So this is fully cooked. Uh, and you know, like I always keep saying, I'm Cuban. So we kind of overcook everything. But I imagine it will be pretty good. I want to have some now with some veggies and stuff and and then make a smoothie again the smoothie has been a lifesaver and you know now that we're in the subject let me show you what the new smoothie is like all right so the new smoothie has been with this protein and it's kind of like the chocolate smoothie which is is just a protein uh, you know half a serving of the non-fat Greek yogurt half a serving of the non-fat or low-fat cottage cheese some stevia to whatever sweetness you like and some ice and a little bit of water so it could all blend and uh, but while this protein here man I gotta say this thing is the best tasting protein that I've ever had this stuff is so good it has inside it has like little bits of chocolate chips and little like I don't know what seems to be like cookie crumbles but man this stuff is amazing and the macros is just like any other protein. Um, you see that it says 160 calories, but that's because the serving size, it's a little bit bigger than normal. It's kind of like a big scoop, it's 39 grams. If not, it would be pretty much the same like any other protein. Uh, you could see the protein there and the rest of the macros. But also remember on these uh, smoothies, if you want it to come out, um, if you want it to thicken really well, remember to use about a third of a teaspoon or like a quarter teaspoon, just a little bit of this stuff. Okay, so a little bit of this stuff. The stevia, the ice, oh, that's, that's my timer on this thing. Sorry about that, that's the timer on the oven. But anyway, so this is the new protein for that new smoothie and I've been making it with just this and I just told you all the ingredients. Wow, it's absolutely amazing and you know if you drink one of these things at the end of the of the night there's just no way anything else fit, fits in your stomach i usually have to put some away and by the way when you're done with the smoothie if you still have some left over you can put it in a plastic container and freeze it the next day you take it out put it in the microwave and defrost it for a few seconds and it's a slushy again and you can have it like that it's it's awesome so let me have some of this fish and then i'll make 
another one of these smoothies and call it a night. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a full day of cod eating. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, guys, so if you notice in the protein powder, okay, that's the the protein for the for the smoothie. So in the protein powder, you can see little bits of like chocolate chips and little bits of cookies in there, and it's just so delicious. I don't know how. This thing's amazing. And after I make it, I would put a little bit of this uh, Hershey's uh, chocolate uh, syrup over the top, and you end up with this here. And this is insanely delicious. It's so good. It's like the best smoothie ever. And it's been a lifesaver. You know, I try to eat the whole thing, but almost I could almost never finish it. So again, just freeze the rest of it in a plastic container. The next day you could put it in the microwave for a few seconds and thaw it out a little bit. And you got ice cream. And this is awesome. You got to try it. been raining all night, a lot of rain. Good morning YouTube fam. So it is Friday, uh, today's gonna be the cot day. So I wanted to catalog everything for you guys. And uh, right now it's 4.38 a.m. And it's May 15th, so Friday, May 15th. Um, it's going to be that cut day. You guys saw the clips. Uh, I cooked it last night. I, I ate it. I tried the one that I made in the oven. And, uh, it, you know, it's doable. It's, <laughs> it's not my favorite thing in the world. But I, I shot a little clip right now when I just got up. And um, I think it was like 420. But I actually woke up about 30 minutes before so just before 4 a.m. that is very unusual for me I usually get up around uh, around 6 but uh, I, w I fell asleep really early it was probably like 10 so that's six hours and that's sometimes you know that's that's my normal you know actually a lot of times I sleep only four hours or something like that but that's not you uh, that is unusual as well most of the time it's about six hours, but normally I'll go to sleep, I'll fall asleep around 11.30, midnight, something like that. I wake up around 6 a.m. So, so anyway, <clears throat> I got up super early. Uh, I'm not sleepy at all. I couldn't, I couldn't fall as asleep again. I tried to, but I, I couldn't fall asleep. So I just decided to get up. And then since I want to catalog all this for you guys, I came out here and uh, to the parking lot and got in my car and to record this clip so so in a bit uh, first of all I don't want to start talking uh, loud in the apartment and wake my wife up at 4 a.m. so um, that's what the reason why I came out to the car so uh, in, a, in a bit I'm gonna go back upstairs and I'm gonna start packing up all the food for for today to take it to work um, you know I you guys know I always take the watery oatmeal and some fruit and that's it very easy to you know to to do but this is also easy to do I mean it's it's ready all I have to do is weigh it and put it in a container so I know how much I take with me I think I'm gonna look at it when I'm packing it but I think I'm gonna take a pound and a half that's uh six servings yeah six servings so I'll enter that if, if that's what I do take I'm gonna enter that already into my fitness pal that was already in there I know I'll eat it even if I have to finish eating it when I get back home that would be the ideal plan for me to like right now I'd rather not have anything I'd rather just have some black coffee and not eat any cod man I don't I don't want to start the day off with cod right now but uh, I don't think on this thing you're supposed to be skipping meals you know how these bodybuilders do it they eat every like couple hours and so whatever I think I'm gonna have a little bit for breakfast maybe I don't know whatever I can stomach <laughs> Maybe I'll dip some into the coffee, see how that goes. Oh man, and then at the end of the night, I'm gonna have to make a cod smoothie. That's horrible. I don't know about that. But anyway, I think I'll have a little piece. I am super hungry. That's one of the reasons why I couldn't fall back asleep. 
um, because I'm super hungry. I normally wake up uh, throughout the night, maybe once, maybe twice to go to the bathroom. I think last night I woke up like one extra time. I think this is already like my third time. So that goes to show, you know, you reduce your carbs, which yesterday I hit uh, 1400 something, not even 1500 calories. So I was on point and I tracked everything, my drink, my popcorn, um, you know, the rest of the day was pretty normal, the fruit and fruits and, and the watery oats and my normal breakfast and then you guys saw dinner. So it was just some vegetables uh, and, and the fish. So um, I'm gonna pack everything up, weigh it out already, track it already, and um, I'm gonna make my black coffee. Now I don't wanna start drinking not even water right now because it's, it's not even 5 a.m. I'm gonna wait till at least like, I would say at least to like 6.30 because I don't wanna weigh myself before then because I think today I have a real good chance of hitting a, a low weigh-in and if I weigh myself this early, there's a chance, you know, maybe I won't, uh, maybe I will, I don't know. I, I just always weigh myself <laughs> around 6 a.m. So I'm gonna wait till today, I'm gonna stretch it out to maybe like 6.30 it just gives me a better chance of getting that low weigh-in and uh, all right so the memory card ran out of space so it stopped recording man it's already going not as planned so anyway let's see how this goes I'm gonna get back upstairs pack up everything get ready for work I do have a couple meetings today um, and I'll wait about another hour or so and then uh, make the coffee and, and weigh myself and all that stuff and, and get the day going. I'll probably record another clip on the way to work in the car. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at and I think I, I said everything I wanted to say. That's why I came out here. As you guys saw, it was uh, raining too. So it's it's been raining pretty much the whole night. So let, let me get back in the house, get things ready for work. Um, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. See if I can tolerate some <laughs> some cut in the morning. You know, these bodybuilders, man, they don't skip any meals. You gotta, I gotta get them in. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, and, and a couple of snacks. Cut all day. All right, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Oh man, that's breakfast. Can't wait. I was getting ready to weigh it out. So I was getting ready to weigh it out and I can't build up the, I can't, <laughs> I just can't, I can't do it. I think I'm gonna save it for later, but that's everything for the whole day. It's uh, it's uh, just over a pound and a half, but it's only like 400 and something calories. There's no way that's enough calories. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. And this is all the fish I cooked. I left a little bit there for my wife. I'm, I'm going to leave her some. And I ate some. Obviously, we ate last night. And then I left her some. Plus, this is like a pound and a half. But 400 and some calories for the, the you know, for the whole day, that's, it's a no-go. So, we, I don't know how this is going to work out. But at least breakfast I'm going to save for later. I, I can't do it. I was <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost ready to weigh it out. But I'm just going to have my black coffee. Okay, I'm going to wrap things up right here. Please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. The story will continue in chronological order next week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys then.